In the Know, a radio program talking to the newsmakers in Ogle, Lee, DeKalb counties, and beyond. Keeping you in the know. Good morning. I'm Charles Van Horn. Joining us on the phone, Luz Maria Gilkey. She is with the Veterans Assistance Commission of Ogle County and elsewhere. You've got a big job title, don't you? Yes, I'm the superintendent and a veteran service officer. The Veterans Assistance Commission is a great organization that helps out those who have done so much for our country. And, and you know, we like to think we make life easier for our veterans, but there's a lot of hurdles and hoops that we put those brave men and women through. Uh, tell me, Luz, what are some of the things the Veterans Assistance Commission can help out with a veteran? There's so many uh, things that we help with. We help with educational benefits, VA disability compensation, um, pensions, uh, VA pensions, VA burials, um, health care, VA, um, law, uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, discharges that need to be updated, uh, and then state and federal uh, veteran benefits, uh, disability upgrades as well. Uh, there's so many, this is kind of general, but that is basically the gist of the, most of the items that we take care of. Yeah, mountains of paperwork, that's for sure. And you deal with veterans local and close to home, which is the amazing part of what you guys do and how hard you work. Uh, veterans in the area, about how many do you think you help a year? Well, right now on our books, we have about 742 that families or veterans that have come in uh, to help uh, with our services, and that's what we have logged in into our system. There's way uh, more veterans in our community that don't know that the service is uh, available. Um, So uh, another item that I didn't mention before is we actually give a veteran's uh, transportation from their home to the facility, the VA appointments, and back to their home. So uh, that is definitely uh, one of the big benefits of having us uh, one of them <laughs> to, to being there at the community. Veterans have done so much for the country, and it's great to know an organization uh, like yours uh, can help. Now, this is uh, funded in part through the county, and you guys have a couple of different offices. And we'll get into how you can get be contacted and, and how people can seek you out for assistance. Uh, what are perhaps uh, more recently, like anecdotally, what are some things you've done for individual veterans? Like you had somebody come to you with a problem and and how could you solve that problem? And what are some of the benefits that veterans don't know about that you've been able to help acquire for those that have served? Well, I love how our office, I, I train and make sure that we pretty much have you come in. You know, sometimes they say that we haven't, you know, I've been declined before, and I'm like, you know what, I don't care what happened before. Um, we start fresh, you come in, we have you um, log in to our system, we um, get you ready from from the start. So we ask you all these questions, we get all this information from you, we get your records from the military, we get uh, medical documentation current, we don't need everything usually, what we need is your current problem list, and then we go from there, we see what, how can we help you from beginning to end, like whatever we can that we can think of, we look into it, and then we process whatever we can, and um so it's been amazing. I've had veterans that haven't been able to get into the VA healthcare that now are able to get into the VA healthcare, and and because of the research we've tried to do for each individual a veteran and family. If you are a veteran and you don't have any benefits, you you don't know what is an option for you. Uh, what's the most important piece of paperwork you have to have in hand? Uh, to get started on this process? Definitely is your DD-214, which is your discharge document. That uh, is, We can't do anything without that because that actually tells you, us that you were in the service for when and how long. So we can also help you get those documents. Um, the, the best way that I say quickest is if you have gotten out of the service, what was your home base, where did you come back home to, and ask that um 
recorder's office if they have the document. That is something that is quick and easy and you don't need anybody's help. You just have to call them and find out. And then if that doesn't work, then definitely come to us or come to us and we'll do that research for you as well. And there are veterans of all ages. Uh, This is not just a service for those who have served in wars years years ago. Uh, You can help out veterans who have served more recently, right? Oh, definitely. The the recent ones, they're usually pretty computer savvy, so they do a lot of the work themselves. But the major thing about the veterans that are just getting out is definitely getting them into the VA healthcare. Um, I think the rules have changed, but the minimum, I think, is the five years. As soon as you get discharged, you have five years from that day to get into the VA healthcare with no questions asked. And that's one of the biggest things that uh, people don't know. I know that they get out and they don't want nothing to do with the service because it's just they want that separation. But that is the biggest thing I tell everybody. And then if you're joining the service, the biggest thing is to do is make sure documentation, documentation, documentation. You need to, I call it my I Love Me book. And that's basically something happens to you, note it, picture, pictures, a thousand words. Make sure that your uniform um, name and location that you're at, you're taking pictures. If something happens, make your buddies write statements. That also helps later on when you get out of the service. I um, I retired from the service. I was reserved, but I was on active duty. Um, And so that helps to keep it because I wasn't intending to stay in for 20 years, but I did. So having that documentation was, was amazing. Right for here, us to be able to help. Yeah, right here in Ogle County too, and that's that's the impressive part here. That uh, yes. not only Ogle County, but uh, DeKalb County, right? Well, um, DeKalb County also has actually a lot of the counties around our area uh, do have a veteran service office. I did come from DeKalb County. I do live in DeKalb County, um, but now I am in Ogle, and yes, I I help financially in office i can only help ogle county but i do help all all counties uh, any uh, veteran that needs yeah help. and you can steer them in the right direction obviously to, to whatever oh, office definitely. can can help them out uh liz gilkey joining us from the veterans assistance commission of ogle county uh you guys have a big event coming up uh it's going to be on the uh 17th weather permitting <laughs> you'll have a uh, sort of a meet and greet event uh, in Rochelle. Correct. The VFW in Rochelle is, uh, we're having a meet and greet. It's at 6 p.m. and it's for veterans to come in and uh, one, meet our staff, two, to meet other veterans in the area. They don't have to be from Rochelle, but we're hoping that it's anybody from Ogle County veterans. Um, So that is one of our events. And uh, then the next day, on the 18th, at 5.30, in our office, which is 1302 Pines Road, Suite 3, in Oregon, Illinois, and that is, we're having a ribbon cutting. Um, so it's at 5.30, and we're looking forward to seeing our veterans there so they could see where our new place is. And that's going to be exciting. And, again, the, the amount of work that you guys do again you handle over 700 veterans a year how big is your staff how many people do you have helping out there well right now we have a secretary and then administrative veteran service officer and myself which is superintendent veteran service officer and we definitely need another uh employee definitely to help uh we're we're hanging in there we're trying to help people don't realize the uh, tremendous amount of of work that goes into really helping all of our veterans because uh, we don't just come, you don't just come in here and say, I need this. We actually look at everything because you don't know. You Mm -hmm. don't know what we do. So we try to help you with everything all in one, um, with everything. So uh, it's amazing how much our staff does and works together to help our veterans uh, succeed. And it's important to note, too, that not just veterans, veterans' families as well. Uh, What are some of the uh, spouses' benefits and things like that that you can help sort out and organize? Well, if the veteran has passed and they died of a service-connected disability, um, we can help the widow with the 
a DIC, which it's a long word, is uh, indemnity compensation, uh, disability indemnity compensation. Um, so that is major because if the veteran passed, he was 100%, um, and or he dies of that service-connected disability, then the widow will get roughly about a third of what he was getting from his disability, and that helps majorly for for the widows. We also have a service connect pension. Now, pension, when people hear pension, it's not a work pension. It's a financial pension of if the veteran, um, because he was in the service uh, and she needs financial help, that will help as well. And let's see. So, yeah, that those are two of the biggest uh, ones uh, for when the widows do, when a veteran does pass. And if you have a family member who's a veteran in some long-term care facility, uh, just because the veteran can't make it to your location in person, uh, you guys can help out uh, in other ways as well, right? We can. We do go. Um, we do have home visits. So if the veteran or the family can't come in, and it's, uh, we can actually go to their home and do all the paperwork. What we usually try and do is do as much as we can over the phone, and then we'll meet at their home and bring the paperwork so they could sign, and uh, that helps out. Uh, they also um, helping them fill out the documentation to get into a VA uh, home uh, facility. It's kind of like a nursing home. It's just they call it VA home. Um, so that's another we can help them and uh, direct them in the right direction. Dare I ask, what's the biggest stack of paperwork you've ever seen for an individual case? Oh, about <laughs> a, a box of a paper box, you know, wow. where they did deliver the paper. Yeah, well, a box full of, of veteran data. So. Yeah. Uh, we that's why we try and and uh, or hope that we get it on a CD so we can go through it. It's a lot easier, but sometimes just having that is it, it's great that they do have it so we can run through it and and just make copies of whatever information we need. The Veterans Assistance Commission of Ogle County doing great work helping uh, those who've done so much for our country uh, fight the paperwork. I mean, there's there's the battles they may have fought in times of war, and uh, the battle with paperwork sometimes is is just as daunting. If a veteran needs to reach out to you guys, do you have a website and a place they can go to with questions or to get a hold of you? Well, what we like to do is... Uh, if you call us and set us up an appointment, because then we start you right off on our, on our system. We uh, log you in, and then that way we'll make an appointment. Uh, we're so busy that we're actually running about two months out for appointments. We just have few spots open so that if there's any emergencies from the veterans we are taking care of currently that we could plug you in, or if there is an emergency, we could plug you in. But the best thing is e- um, calling us. It's 815 815- Two five five nine one eight one, and we also have an email. It's uh, office at ocvac.org. And uh, but if you do send an email, we ask you to please call and say, "Hey, I sent you an email just to keep an eye out." Because again, there's only three of us, and you have to understand that. We're either with a client. If we're with a client, we do not answer our phone. It goes directly to voicemail, and uh, we do get back. Uh, the secretary is awesome. If she's not on the phone, obviously she takes care of you. And if she is on the phone, then she calls you back as soon as we can. And then we have um, – so we work together well as a team. It's just understanding that somebody's not always going to answer the phone. So please, very important to leave a message. And, of course, uh, visit uh, you guys. A couple of events coming up on uh, Wednesday and on Thursday. That big ribbon cutting on Thursday and the meet and greet in Rochelle. Uh, Liz Gilkey, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate it and all the hard work you do with the Ogle County Veterans Assistance Commission. Thank you very much, and I appreciate it. I hope to, you know, maybe have uh, some more time to reach out again uh, through you uh, so that the community definitely knows we're out there because that is definitely something very important because we can see oh i didn't know you were here so thank you very much for having us we we definitely appreciate it thank you thank you for listening to this week's in the know 
The program returns next week at this time with another great conversation with someone from your community.